Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on true bearings. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can find missing sides and angles using true bearings. Okay, first thing, true bearings are used to describe the direction of one object to another. Okay, uh, true bearings are always measured clockwise from to true north. And you'll often hear this in uh, like open water navigation and stuff like that. Um, so you'll say, I'm heading let's say if there was a boat heading this direction on this yellow line, they would say that they were heading at a bearing of 102 degrees because due north is here. So you would, from due north, you would go clockwise until you ha hit that, um, that line of travel there, and that is 102 degrees, okay? So the angle, the bearing of point B from point A would be 102 degrees. The bearing of A from point B, so starting at point B, start here at true north, Go clockwise around until you hit that, that travel line here, and that would be 282 degrees. Okay? Okay, let's take a look um, at an example here. Sluggy crawls to his buddy Slick's house, which is 17 inches west and 12 inches south of his starting point. What is Sluggy's bearing from his starting point? Okay, so uh, what we'll probably want to do is draw ourselves a little triangle here that gives us the important information. So it says 17 inches west and 12 inches south of his starting point. What is his bearing angle? So here's true north. We want to come up with what's this angle right here, right? So if we can figure out this angle here, guess what? We can figure out what the bearing angle is. So from this angle, this is the opposite side, right? So this is opposite and then this is adjacent, right? So Opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we would say tangent of theta is opposite, which is 12, over adjacent, which is 17. So we will get our calculator out to help us figure out what that measure is. So we're looking for an angle, so it's second tangent. And we'll do 12 divided by 17. And that gives us 35.2 degrees, so theta 35.2 degrees. So that's what this is right here. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We know that each 90 degree angle, 90 degree turn here, or each quarter turn is 90 degrees, right? So from here all the way up to here, here around to here, that's going to be 270 total degrees, right? But we want to stop short of that by 35.2. So if we subtract the 35.2 degrees from this full 270 degrees, that will give us our bearing angle. All right, so we will clear that out and do 270 minus 35.2, and we get that the bearing angle is 234.8. Okay. So Sluggy was traveling at a bearing angle of 234.8 degrees. Okay, okay, let's look at one last example and we'll call that good. But before we do that, let's do a quick little comedy break. Half hour, the captain finally gets on. Oh, oh folks, let me tell you what's going on up here. Oh, I hope it's good. Has that ever followed anything even remotely good? Let me tell you what's going on up here. Uh, we found a big bag of money on board. <laughs> and uh, the tower has instructed us to divvy it amongst all you passengers. <laughs> we apologize for the delay. The problem is each individual stack is getting so high they keep toppling over. And uh, the rubber bands we've been using keep snapping on the sides of these bundles. Uh, apologies from the flood. Wow. All right. Um, <clears throat> last example here. So, example 12. Sarah takes a cycle bus from her home to work. The driver starts on a bearing of 312 degrees and drives for 2.1 kilometers. And then the driver drives at a bearing of 42 degrees for 1.3 kilometers. Find the distance from her home to work, and then find the bearing of work from home. Okay, so uh, again, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to draw ourselves a picture. So here we go. So we started right here. So here's the uh, start. 
Okay, so started at a bearing, so here's true north, 90, 180, 270, somewhere up here roughly is 312 for 2.1 kilometers. And then they headed on a bearing of 42 degrees. So we do this right here, 42. And then we're heading up this way for 1.3 kilometers up until work. So this is the end of the uh, trip, right? Okay. So find the distance from her home to work. So here's where she started, which is home. And then there's work. So what we're doing is we are trying to find this distance right here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to try to figure out what kind of angle we got going on right here. Okay, so if from here around to here is 312 degrees, then we should be able to help, excuse me, this will help us figure out, we can, we can figure out what this angle right here is, right? Because this, this line here is parallel to this line right here. So if we figure out what that angle is, that's the same as this right here. So if this, uh, this whole thing is 312 degrees, and then we subtract 270 degrees, because that's what it is to here, that will leave us what that is, right? So that will leave us with, looks like 42 degrees here. So if this right here is 42 degrees, alternate interior angles tells us that this here is also 42 degrees. And if this is 42 degrees, we can figure out what this angle right here is, right? Because that whole thing should be 90. So 90 minus 42 gives us a 48 degree angle, right? So if we add 48 to 42, look, we get 90 degrees. So now we know that this right here is a 90 degree angle. So now if we look at this triangle here, this is what we have, right? So look, we got a 90 degree angle. We can do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Right, so a squared plus b squared is going to equal our c squared. So we get 1.3 squared plus 2.1 squared is going to equal our c squared. So let's see what our calculator will tell us for that. So 1.3 squared plus 2.1 squared gives us a total of 6.1. So 6.1 is what c squared is. So we square root both sides. And that will tell us how far away from home she is, right? So we will do square root of our answer. And we get 2.469. So we'll go with 2.47 2.47 kilometers. Okay? So 2.47 kilometers is how far she is from home. Okay? And then the second part says find the bearing of work from home. So what that is, is here's, here's where um, the bearing of work from home. So you're starting from home, and then you want to find this angle all the way up to here. So we've got to figure out what that is right there. So here's what we can do. If we can figure out what this angle right here is, which guess what is this right here, we know we can figure that out because this, from this angle, this is opposite and this is adjacent. That's tangent. So we can do tangent theta is the opposite side, which is 1.3 over the adjacent, which is 2.1, right? So we use our calculator here, looking for an angle. So it's second tangent, and we do 1.3 divided by 2.1. And that gives us 31.75, so we'll go with 31.8 degrees. Okay, so we know that this now is 31.8 degrees. So then from here to here is 312, and we add another 31.8. That's going to be our bearing angle, right? So we take our 312 and then add 31.8. We add those two together, and we get 343.8 degrees. So the bearing of work from home is 343.8 degrees okay all right so all we have for the true bearings notes if you have any further questions please feel free to ask in class thanks